Right then, this is the first tour for a while. Indoor tomatoes outdoors at the allotment. I know, looking a bit sad, but still got to get going, bless them. Moving on to the runner beans. Seem to have been obliterated by slugs. Not sure why they're struggling so much, but uh, hopefully there's enough plants to keep us going. Uh, outdoor tomatoes, cherries. One, two, three, four, five, six plants. Might need staking out with some flowers from Lee Sars. Uh, I think we've got s peas, peas here. Uh, three tripods with the peas. We've got looks like some dwarf beans on the right there. Not sure, quite sure what's going on there. <coughs> Wildflower garden's looking good in the background. Uh, box hedging's looking like it's been obliterated with blight, but that was its last chance. Uh, sunflowers been obliterated with slugs out of the 15, 16 plants I grew. I've got about eight left, so half gone. Uh, bird bath needs topping up. Dahlias, gosh, five left out of 15 plants. Not great. Uh, so we've got more flowers in here. Uh, new for this year. Uh, I think everybody knows that that's uh, an artichoke plant. Moving over to the other side. The six raspberry plants put in have definitely done well. Happy place. Moving across to here are uh, red currants, black currants from last year. Looking well. Uh, there. Going around the other side. Blueberries. Lisa's mother's plant looking the healthiest. The tea plants I bought last year looking less so. Look at those raspberries, the raspberry forest. How about that? Very nice. Once we go over the other side, oh, wildflowers, oxide daisies to name but one, foxgloves, self, self seeded. Uh, carrots in the deck, on the deck, looking quite healthy, should be ready for uh, Sunday lunch, leg of lamb, new potatoes. Talking of new potatoes, if we go over here, uh, at least I thought it might be a good idea to get them out of the ground into little boxes this year, so we put them in these bags. Not like they need a drink, but it looks like it's going to tip it down. Onions late planting this year, red, uh, stuck dart and uh, white here, looking like they're playing catch up but uh, considering the late planting didn't overwinter, it looks like they might catch up garlic down the left flank here grass needs cutting I don't mind that, Lisa doesn't like it <coughs> moving over here, Henman Hill very nice too and then uh, courgettes one plant, square metre bit less, sweet corn in the middle, another plant, square metre, a bit less, as you can see, some little baby incy wincy zucchini on there. Moving up to this one, we have dwarf runner, no, dwarf beans, French dwarf beans, very nice too, some flowers on, and then last but not least, sweet peas, need tying up a little bit, but looking well. Park bench, no tramps on that one. Little lock up, very nice too. So uh, that's it. We are a bit about six crops shorter than we normally have. So I think I've got to get in the beetroot. I thought I planted beetroot, don't know where I put that. And not forgetting the leeks. Leeks, I think we planted couple of dozen leeks. They're sorting themselves out. Wildflower garden over there as well. Looking a bit jungle-like. Hot compost gets dumped in there. Little just to bury in the background there. Battling on. Looking all right. Borage pops up everywhere. Borage pops up everywhere. Borage pops up everywhere. Borage pops up everywhere. Apparently my daughter seems to think that you can put borage in ice and have it with gin and tonics. Might think about doing that this year. Good idea, Hatsy. 
here we should have beetroot. Don't see many signs of it. I put beetroot in there last weekend. Poor show, nothing come up yet. So that's it. Little update, quick five minutes, just about tip it down, over and out. And I'll just say a quick bye bye. Where is my camera? Bye bye.